Good morning and welcome back to day four of our Tahitian adventure. It is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. And we are here in Bora Bora, French Polynesia. So why don't you come along and join us and have some fun. Have the beautiful Breda here with me, of course. The sun is shining. So hopefully that maintains. Yesterday was a little rainy, but we managed to have a blast either way. We're starving right now, so let's go have some breakfast. I think these crepes are calling our name today, Breda. Breda's lining up with some uh, fruit and crepes so far. They do have homemade chocolate hazelnut paste and maple syrup. Uh, Tetaroa Island honey and peanuts butter. Haven't tried this coconut pie yet. Maybe today is the day. They do have some rotating waters that change here on the breakfast buffet. Today it is mint cucumber detox water. Here at the juice bar, the regular lineup is tomato juice, tropical smoothie, grapefruit juice, apple juice, banana vanilla juice and of course orange juice i'm going with the grapefruit juice today it's hitting the spot it's already my second cup back here at the table let's try these crepes i have to say the crepes are tasty very authentically french but my english pancakes i make for myself and the kids at home do top them next up i'm going to grab some of the half cooked offshore fish I believe this is some sort of tuna, and they have this drizzle that you can put over it. Let's see what else I'm gonna add to this. Oh yeah, I haven't had any oatmeal yet today. Let's go over here. Get some oatmeal. They do also have a whole cereal selection here. Let's see what the hot items are today. They have, they have bacon every day. And then they have beans and pork every day. These are the potatoes today. Uh, each day has been a little bit of a different potato selection. Some days it's hash browns. And then those are more of like a wedge, potato wedge. The chicken sausages have been here every day. And then the green beans have as well. And today these are sauteed noodles with vegetables and fish. The cheese and charcuterie station has been consistent every day. Let's go check the pastries out today. It's been a little different every day. We got some muffins, red fruits muffins, the chocolate muffins, those have been here every day. They do have the chocolate croissants, the kids would love those. Coconut and white chocolate cake. English muffins, other breads, the toaster, of course, that I showed. And uh, bread with grapes. And almond croissants today. Third breakfast plate today. Breakfast buffet is closing soon. Of course, we don't have the lunch package. We do have the breakfast package and the dinner package again. So I'm gonna try these. French pastries, this is the croissant, and then this is the chocolate croissant. I felt obliged to have to try those today. And we also got a to-go box and put some Poisson Cru coconuts in there. Back in the room from breakfast, I also just went and got some ice. The uh, maid was just finishing up in our room when we came back. They do a really good job here of getting in and out of the rooms pretty quickly, cleaning up, and uh, making your bed and whatnot. They also do the turn down service in the evening, which uh, sets your villa up for the evening time for you. They always leave a nice message on the mirror in the bathroom saying something, some pleasantries every day. So that's a nice little touch as well. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to everybody out there. Thanks for joining us on this Bora Bora vacation. It's always very calm out here 
off the back deck of our villa. This might be the biggest wave I've seen come in. So it gives you a idea of how very, very calm it is. Yep, this is the biggest wave I've seen. Don't take out our villa. Here's a look at the back of our villa, number 224. We did haul the loungers down from the upper deck there to the lower deck. So we got a great view of the mountain from our loungers. We are now in the refreshing waters of Bora Bora. I am comfortably standing here. I'm a pretty tall guy. The water is now up to my chest area and ranges anywhere off the back of our villa from, I would say, four and a half to five feet. As you do swim that way down the pontoon, just a few villas, it gets considerably deeper where I could not touch, but we can comfortably do, like I say, a cannonball off our deck here and just, you know, make sure you don't put your legs out straight and you won't get hurt, but Cannonballs are safe even at this off this depth. We love the we love where our villa is. We didn't want to be in super deep water. We wanted to be able to stand and just chill off the back of our of our place. So it's perfect for us. That's two two four. We did bring inflatables with us. We haven't used the rope just because we can touch generally here, and it's so calm that you don't really get pushed around. Every once in a while, I'll just do a few flaps. So we did bring rope, but we have not tied the rope to our floaties. And Breda's just chilling in the donut right now. Hi, Breda. Also, it's very sandy here off the back of our villa. I do not need water shoes right now. It's pretty much all sand, the occasional stone. There's not many fish here in the lagoon off our deck. Um, occasionally we will see a stingray or some big, bigger fish swimming around, but not too much at all. And speaking of stingrays, there's one right out there in the water. Maybe about 15 yard, 20 yards now. It's moving in the opposite direction. It was closer a few seconds ago. But yeah, so speak of the stingray. We did name the stingray. It's, I, I feel like it's like the same one that floats around here. We did name it Rachel Ray. That was Breda's idea. We have come to the on-site Lagoonarium and I've switched the battery in the GoPro and we're gonna head into the Lugan, l the Lagoonarium and see what we can see. That over there is the wedding chapel. There has been at least one or two couples that have gotten married that we've met while we've been here. And a lot of people are here on their honeymoons. But yeah, that's the wedding chapel over there. We are also gonna take fish food that we brought into the water, see what happens. While our sunscreen is setting, on our bodies. We're just sitting here with our drinks in front of the Lagoonarium before we go in. We did fill these up with juice from the breakfast buffet, of course. We just kind of did like a mixture of all the juices. There was uh, there was orange juice and grapefruit juice, and there was some sort of some sort of, some sort of tropical smoothie. We all just combined it into here, and we've added rum to it. So it's uh, it's hitting the spot right now. It's a little bit of banana, a little bit of banana taste, but it's uh, I'm just gonna call it. Nathan's concoction of Bora Bora. After consulting Breda, we are hereby changing the name to Nathan's Rum Punch. As soon as we walk into the water here, these fish, before we even parted, started putting food in, they started swimming towards us. And now Breda is dropping the fish flakes that we brought with us. And they are just swarming. They, they knew as soon as people walk in here. They're getting fed. Yep. <laughs> I dare you to hold some in your hand and put your hand underwater. Oh yeah. Okay, hold what it in your hand. What can go hand. wrong? Hold it in your hand tight, like tight, so it doesn't okay. go wet. Yep. And, and then slow a, as you as you're underwater, slowly release your hand. Okay, let it go. No. <laughs> no one gave me my hand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's our own aquarium. Highly recommend bringing your own fish food with you. It was like $9 for a giant container. They do sell it here at the gift shop, but 
I think it's $7 it in your, for a little bag. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's way cheaper to bring your own and you get way, way, way more. I like these yellow ones right here. Okay, drop a bunch and see what they do. And see them leap out of the water. <laughs> we have so much. We have so much food. They're following you, yeah. Like the guy, he has food. Brady's checking out the fish while I feed them from above. <laughs> Go fishies! This is the fish food we brought. It was nine bucks on Amazon. One of the best things we brought with us. If you don't bring this, then uh, you're missing out. So plan ahead. We are looking at a map of the resort right now. Where are we, Breda? I think we're here. Yeah, right, right. there. And there's and either a trail this way. We're trying to go on a little adventure building. out to the actual ocean side. There's a lagoon side on the left, and then there's the ocean side. You can hear the waves crashing on the ocean side from where we're standing right now. Yeah, so this is where we were just swimming. In the lagoonarium. And then there's a path here okay. right through the building. Okay, so let's go out there behind the chapel right there's another pathway oh yeah yeah okay so yeah okay right, let's do that let's do that that's one of the bigger fish that we've seen here by the lagoonarium he looks like he eats the other fish though not the fish food <laughs> don't, don't be cheap <laughs> give the fish what they want on our adventure to find the ocean side, we also stumbled across this ping pong table. So I'm assuming they have paddles and balls somewhere for your enjoyment. Oh, yeah. And oh, some amazing history lessons here on these big placards they have on the way out to the ocean. You can read about the World War II history here, the Second World War here in Bora Bora. And uh, on January 22nd, 1942, the USS Sumner arrived in Bora Bora. This specialized surveying ship had been sent to prepare for the disembarkation of troops taking part in a military operation that had been given the code name Bobcat. So you can also take excursions up the uh, Mount Antamanu and see the actual World War II cannons. And we have stumbled across the on-site coconut tree forest. You uh, do not want to be standing underneath when those coconuts fall. I see them on the ground over there, and that would not be good to take one of those off the noggin. We might have found the rooster sanctuary here. It looks like those are the younger ones. They're all hanging out over here. There's at least four or five that I can see. We made it to the other side of the chapel. Breda, you want to get married again? Uh, she, I didn't hear a vocal... Oh, I'll think about, I'll think it. about it. <laughs> we have stumbled across the organic garden, so let's go see what they're growing back here. They got these beds lined up here. I'm not sure what that is. That's a language I don't recognize. But I imagine this is uh, oh, right here, look. what is what is all this? Right here, look. Oh. What is that? Eggplant. Some sort of eggplant. It's an eggplant. Okay. It looks like the... I'm not sure. Is it in French? I don't know, but those look like eggplants. And then... I'm not sure what these are. But, yeah. So I'm assuming this is uh, where they get some of their produce that they use on site. Oh, this mint. This mint right there. Oh, yeah. Mint right there. We have some of that in our backyard back in LA. Grows like a weed. Something called 
rocket. Oh, and they got tomatoes right here. Oh yeah, tomate. Okay, so. Can you see some of them for me? Yeah. Yeah. What else we got over here? Oh. That's a coconut, isn't it? And then there's stuff oh, there. they got some red peppers down here, it looks like. And over there, look, next to it. It's a, it's a bunch. Oh, are these habaneros? Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah, sure. There's a ton. This is really interesting to see. Oh, they got carrots right here. Whole long bed of carrots right there. This looks like lettuce right here. Some sort of romaine lettuce. They have some more mint here. I'm not sure what this is, but you can kind of see. Maybe it's an onion or something. I'm not sure. I'm not uh, too much of a green thumb as far as fruits and vegetables go. But if you know what some of these vegetables are, write down in the comments below. Let us know. And it's the resident organic garden roosters. And they're really fast. Some of these root systems on these trees are just something I've never seen before. I don't know what sort of tree this is, but they are plentiful here. Coconut. Yeah, a couple old coconuts on the ground there. And we turn the corner here and we have arrived at the ocean side of the resort. You hear the waves crashing, see the waves crashing now. There's this heart here on the ground. We found it. On our way back from adventuring out to the ocean side, we stopped by here at the Deep Ocean Spa, which is right next to the fitness facility. Just taking a quick look at some of their offerings here. And anyone wondering about how much a massage costs, it looks like they range, there's a very extensive menu. I cannot possibly go through this entire thing on the vlog, but a 90 minute massage, the Bora Bora Bliss Massage, is 31,500 CFP, which is approximately $315-ish. And the Polynesian massage, 50-minute massage, is 21,500, which is approximately $215, if my half-inebriated math is serving me correctly. And there's just so much to see in this menu. So if you're looking to experience the spa here, we are not while we are here, but I know there are many of, of you out there that are very interested in it. And I've heard nothing but amazing things about it while we've been here. We had some pool time and socialization with a lot of the other people that are here. And we have ventured out onto a two person kayak into the lagoon. Breda is carrying the load right now. Breda, let's go faster. <laughs> <laughs> We, are, we don't really have a plan out here. We're just enjoying being in the kayak. And then we're gonna head back to the pool when the 5 to 6 p.m. happy hour starts. Right now, it's around 4.15. So we got about, about 45 minutes to an hour to kayak. And uh, actually, the all of the kayaking equipment, actually, as the guy that works here, his name's Toto. He was responsible today for all the kayaking and ocean equipment, the stand-up paddle boards. They like to have all those in by five. So he said, be back by five, no problem. I think 45 minutes is good enough. And uh, let's go. Let's continue on our adventure. I'm gonna put the vlog down and I'm going to help Breda get out uh, closer to the mountain. We've done the perimeter of the villas and we are gonna cut back through the middle of the lagoon here and we're gonna actually paddle underneath our own overwater bungalow on the kayak. 
Full steam ahead. Loving this kayak tour out here. Self, self guided. Getting a little bit of exercise in as well. We gotta take a little bit of a hard left here and we're gonna go under our villa. Not Back to the, what's that? Not right. <laughs> not to the right. Here we go, we have gotten to our overwater bungalow, 224. Braid is gonna, Braid is gonna guide us under. Here, I'll do a little ruddering at the back here. There you go. Doing the hard left. Wait, how do you go? There you go, like that. This yeah. Now there are some now some of each. Hey, home. Sweet home. Home sweet home for another 48 hours. Then it's back to reality. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that yet. We got some neighbors cranking some tunes over here. All right, right under the walkway that we walk on every day. There's a big crab right there. That's the biggest crab I've seen since we've been here. I'm gonna see how close we go. Oh, it's going underground. He went right into there. You can still kind of see his legs. All right, let's throw this apple core and see what they do. They look like apples. How about them apples? We are done kayaking and we are headed back to the room. We were still hauling our fins and snorkeling equipment, uh, snorkeling equipment around from when we went into the Lagoonarium a couple hours ago. So we dropped those off at the room, went and got some ice, make us some more drinks, and then we're gonna head back to the pool area. We've coordinated to meet with a few extra people that we've met over the last few days. We're all gonna convene at the pool area to hang out together. It's also happy hour from five to six here. And uh, so we'll see you at the pool. We are back by the pool and we are going to enjoy a late afternoon Poisson Cru snack stacked with some fresh sashimi. Taking another look at the happy hour menu here by the pool. All of these drinks during happy hour, which is again, five to 6 p.m. every day. And then again, they have a reverse happy hour later from nine to 10. The drink prices on this sheet are 13 euros each, which is about $14 US dollars. We have tried the Mai Tai there at the top. It's very good. It's got a little bit of a Long Island iced tea flair to it here. And we actually haven't, tried oh yeah i've tried the paloma that's also good had one of those last night while playing billiards on the late night happy hour so we're gonna go ahead and indulge since everything right now is half price hanging out in the pool here just enjoying this the beginnings of this tahitian sunset we're wired differently now watching the waves go across the pool the mountain in the distance there is, the peak is covered with some clouds. It just looks like a postcard right now. It is about 7.15, 7.20 p.m. on Thursday night on day four of our Tahitian adventure. And we are walking back to the room from the pool. We're gonna get changed and then go meet up with a couple other couples and have dinner with them. And this is the view that I am encountering right now and it is just breathtaking. All right, gotta go get changed. I was just walking back from refilling our water bottles. We're just finishing getting changed in the room and getting ready for dinner. And there is a full moon tonight. 
which just looks <laughs> ridiculous, honestly. Let me go see another angle that I can get from here. It probably doesn't look as good on the vlog. There we go, I hope that's a better angle. You can see the reflection cascading down onto the lagoon. That is quite something. A little bit of rain coming down. On our way to dinner, we're gonna meet up with some other couples we've met here at the resort. And we are gonna eat at the Sands restaurant, which is the same place we ate at yesterday when we saw the Tahitian fire show. If you haven't checked out that vlog from yesterday, make sure you check that one out. Tonight for appetizers, we went with the tuna tartare here. It does come with some salt and I think this is tahini. And then I'm not sure what this is, but it's really good. And then Breda went with the swordfish ceviche. Tonight for the entrees, I went with the, it's called the redfish tacos, which is bluefin tuna, which looks just absolutely ridiculous. And then Breda went with the mahi-mahi tacos, and that is fried mahi-mahi, and it, both of these come with french fries. So let's dig in. Tonight for dessert, I went with the coconut brownie, and Breda went with the cheesecake. It also comes with fresh fruit and the brownie comes with a coconut milk. We are back here at the billiards table this evening for a few rounds of billiards to close out the night and we have gone with a Mai Tai to drink. And this will close out day four of our Tahitian adventure. We are out here on our back deck. It is very late. We stayed up past midnight tonight and we are closing tonight out with some Pringles that we brought with us and a protein shake. It was a fun day today and we have one more day, one more full day tomorrow. Our last full day here in Bora Bora. We still have most of Saturday to hang out here at the resort as well. But tomorrow, Friday, will be our last full day. So make sure to tune in for that one. And it's been an all day fun day today. So thanks for coming along and we'll see you tomorrow.